Good morning, Roger Gewold here with my Grown-Up's Guide to Financial Enlightenment. Election time in the States always makes me nostalgic for my misspent youth, so I'm wearing my high school reunion badge this morning. Uh, an MP uh, tweeted early this morning that their father was ill, they were told he needed a paramedic, rang an ambulance, the ambulance simply never arrived. So uh, they then jumped in their car uh, to drive to London because they couldn't rely on the trains. And they just said, this country is in A&E. And, you know, I think that really sometimes it is. And, and uh, more and more people tell me that they're just wondering, how do we, how in the world do we elect these people to be our leaders here in the States, elsewhere? And I, you know, I'm coming around to the idea that we shouldn't hold elections anymore because maybe only the wrong sorts of people, uh, grandstanding people, run for them. We should have bidding like they do in the business world for successful business people to uh, run the government like a proper business. Then we wouldn't have all this nonsense, these sex scandals, the cheating, the, all the rest of the stuff, and send all the rest of them to crawl with the maggots uh, and I'm a celebrity. It's just incredible. And it's probably going to be the same if it isn't already, and certainly maybe even get worse in the States, where with the US elections, the red wave that was going to sweep the Republicans back into control of the United States government didn't happen. It was less of a tsunami and more of some choppy waters for the Democrats. Uh, the numbers are still unclear. In the Senate, which is very loosely our Lord's, uh, where there's 100 seats and you need 51, the BBC says that each party has 48 at the moment. The Associated Press says the Democrats have 46 and the Republicans have 48. Somebody else says that the Democrats have 48 and the Republicans have 49. I mean, I don't know why it's so unreliable, but there we go. But the main point is that with states like Georgia uh, and maybe one or two others, uh, there's probably going to have to be a runoff, which means that we won't really know um, until December uh, who's controlling the Senate. But there's no doubt, I think, at this late stage, with only eight seats necessary uh, for the Republicans to retake control of the House of Representatives, that's uh, our commons uh, very loosely, um, where they need 218. And uh, they will retake control, which they lost in January 2021. And that means a deadlocked government. That means a, a lame duck government where Joe Biden's every policy is going to be resisted. And someone has characterized it of, as two years of benign neglect. So uh, what can we expect from this uh, deadlocked government, which is almost certain to happen? Uh, especially if the Republicans win the Senate as well. Well, expect to see uh, much less government regulation and interference, uh, green policies pushed further down the priority scale, fossil fuel, gas, and production increased in an effort to get away from Putin. Uh, I also predict less attacks on big tech companies uh, and tighten fiscal policy, the politicians and economists are saying, do you know what that means? Why can't they speak earth talk? What it means is no tax cuts and decreased spending, especially after sleepy Joe Biden's insane $2. trillion surge of spending. I think we can probably also see uh, the idea of paying reparations for a climate damage scrapped. And of course, the most important thing we will probably see all of these things drift over here this way, as they usually do. Now, here's a thought. Uh, Governor Ron DeSantis has been reelected in Florida, and he, of course, uh, is planning to oppose Donald Trump if the Donald announces he wants to run again. And um, I, I, I've just heard rumors, don't know if they're true, uh, that uh, uh, DeSantis uh, has told Elon Musk to whom Florida leased the Cape Canaveral space station that he's going to take the lease away unless Musk sends Trump to the moon. Who knows? I'm not sure if it's true. We'll see. Roger and out.